Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tashawn here, and I am back with a new video. And this one is going to be what I melted um, for the month of May. I am sorry that this is late. Things did get kind of busy and hectic, so um, I wasn't able to film this earlier in the month, but um, I am able to film it now. So let's get started. So one of the things that I melted was from Sassy Wax Melts, and this was my favorite color is pink pink chiffon um pink pink sands and pink sugar and this blend was very beautiful it was um very soft very feminine just a beautiful fragrance um the throw was about seven out of eight seven or eight out of ten um and it did last you know throughout the day and I had this going in my daughter's bedroom and I really enjoyed it. This one is one that I would purchase again because um, I really uh, like it. And then I have a Hayden Row um, Ready Bits and this is Stressless and this is Powder, Peony, Ozone, Jasmine, Orchid, and Musk. And this one was really nice. It wasn't too heavy on the florals. It was just perfect. Just enough where you got the florals but it wasn't too overpowering. I definitely get like that powder, powdery note, which is very soft and pretty. Um, so I definitely enjoyed this one. I had this one going in the bathroom and this one was about, um, if I recall, about a seven out of eight out of 10. Um, but the throw was really nice and this is something that I would purchase again because I did enjoy it. We have, um, L3 Scoopable Wax and Cookie Therapy. And this is Santa's on Keto um, Pretzel and Sugar Shortbread. This, oh my goodness, I love this. This was so good. I put this in my bedroom in the throat. This was so strong. I would say it was about an eight out of, eight out, eight out of, um, eight or nine out of 10. It was just so buttery, just um, delicious. Oh, the like everything about this was just really good. It was a really enjoyable bakery, bakery blend. And this was um, when we, the previous pre-order that Jennifer had. So what happened was with that pre-order or the, it was an RTS. So for that RTS, she was putting this in because this was something that she created for the um, previous pre-order. So she, you basically got a chance to try this one. So if you wanted to get it in the pre-order because she did a pre-order um, sampler with cookie therapy and then she also had like other blends um, separate and then she also did cookie therapy in a loaf on its own so if you wanted to try it you got the opportunity with that restock because this was a sample um, some people got this as a sample and I'm so glad that I got this as a sample however my order came late so I didn't get this until after the fact but I was very happy that I had went ahead took a chance and placed my order in the pre-order for cookie therapy and I'm glad that I did because this one was so good. I really enjoyed it. It was very strong. I had this going in the bedroom and this is, I mean, it's already a repurchase. I've already repurchased this um, a couple of times already and I do enjoy it and will continue to repurchase it um, as long as it's available. This is a good one. Then we have um, Love Fat Wax, and this was Juicy Fruit Bubblegum Sweet Strawberry. This one was very juicy, very sweet. You def definitely got that juicy fruit flavor and that strawberry. Um, this one I had going in my daughter's bedroom, but it was just really juicy, fruity, um, just like the gum with you know added strawberry. Um, it was very, very delicious. So this one I would repurchase. Um, again in the future when I do decide to place another order if it's available I would definitely repurchase this one then we have um, the bathing guard and this is moon of wonder and this is rich vanilla blends with uh, rum silk bananas clove and brown sugar and nutmeg now this one oh my goodness this one I would definitely repurchase this this is the only banana blend that I like, that I enjoy. Um, most banana blends smell like banana Laffy Taffy. 
This one smelled like Bananas Foster. It reminded me of a, a restaurant in um, New Orleans in the French Quarter called Brennan's. Um, when I went there one, one time, I ate at that restaurant and I got the Bananas Foster as a dessert and it was delicious. And this blend right here reminded me of that. This was so good. It was strong. It was delicious. It was like a decadent, um, fancy, dancy dessert that was, you know, at a fancy restaurant. And Brennan's is a fancy restaurant in New Orleans, if you guys aren't familiar. But um, I really enjoyed this one. And I definitely look forward to purchasing this again in the near future. Or, well, in the future. Because this probably won't come back around until next year. So, um, I did order this. So, I do have some more that I have in my collection. I have the um, wax tarts. So, or the shapes, I have the moon shapes. So I'm definitely going to hoard that until this comes back around for next year. But this one was really good. I definitely enjoyed it. The only banana scent that um, I enjoy so far. This is, oh, and that one was probably about like an eight or nine out of 10 um, as well. And for this one, this is L3 Waxy Wonders um, Arctic Circle. So this is Boogie Be Gone, Eucalyptus and Toasted Marshmallows. And this one was really good. Um, I definitely enjoyed this. I Again, I melted this one in my daughter's room because of the eucalyptus. And um, this was pretty much like a, no, a nose opener. So, you know, if you were feeling stuffy or um congested this one was a good one to melt at night to help you with your breathing i definitely enjoyed it um the toasted marshmallows also gave it a nice creaminess but this one was really good and this is something that i would definitely repurchase i would say it was about an eight um out of ten definitely enjoyed this one um and would repurchase Then we have uh, Britta's Night and Terra Tower, and this is Palo Santo Blackberry and, tobac and Tobacco and Bay. This one is definitely re definite repurchase. I already have some in my collection already, and this one is really nice. That Palo Santo with the Tobacco and Bay and that Blackberry is so beautiful. It's warm, fruity, um, woodsy, just a little bit earthy, sweet from that tobacco. A very nice blend. I would say it's about an 8 or a 9 out of 10. I definitely would repurchase and I have um, already repurchased this um, in a previous order. So, a fave. We have another Britta's uh, Creepy Treasure, Treasures and this is Chucky. This is Cupcakes at Tiffany's and Cherry. This one was really good. I did enjoy this one. That You definitely got the Cupcakes at Tiffany's. You definitely got that Cherry note. And this one is about like a seven or eight, seven or eight out of ten. It was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, I believe I had this in my daughter's room because this was like a sample. Um, but I would definitely repurchase this one as well. Then we have another Britta's and this is Me Want Apples. This is Mac Apple Cider Land and Hot Apple Pie. This one was so good. It was delicious. It was a beautiful bakery blend with that Mac Apple, the Hot Apple Pie and the Cider Land. It was very strong. I would say about, um, it's been so long, but it was about an eight eight out of ten um throw um like you definitely could smell it towards the end of the day like when i went to change it it still was going pretty strong so that was good but like i said i change my wax out twice a day so there are times where the wax is still going it still has like a nice strong and depending on what it is i may just let it go you know throughout the night or I'll swap out, but most times I do swap out my wax um, in the evening, but this one was good. It, it was a great blend during the day. Um, very delicious bakery blend. I would repurchase. And this one is Sparkles Wax Melts, and this was Lavender, Lavender Vanilla, and this is a definite repurchase. This one was strong, strong. This was so good. This was like a nine, 10 out of 10, like, so strong, um, very relaxing, very soothing, um, a beautiful nighttime blend. Um, I would definitely repurchase that. And this was Rose Girls Kaylin Scotcheroos, and this was 
butterscotch and marshmallow and this was just a beautiful um bakery blend with that butterscotch and marshmallows very sweet creamy um i would say this was about seven out of seven about a seven or eight out of ten i definitely would repurchase this if this came back around i believe i had got this in a um um what do you call it uh, um Oh, I can't think of the box. This, oh, goodness gracious. The sample box that she um, puts out there. Big kahuna. Oh, my goodness. So, um, if this was to come around again, I would definitely pick up more. And we have another Rose Girls. This is Lavender Vanilla and Summer Breeze. This one I definitely enjoyed as well. Oh, so good. Like you still can see, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just a beautiful lavender. It's almost like a lavender laundry. About an eight um, out of 10, eight, nine out of 10. Um, very strong throw. I would definitely repurchase this. And this was um, Nana Makes Sense. This is Ginger Cake. This one was a really delicious bakery blend. About a 7, 8 out of 10. Um, you definitely get got that uh, ginger note from that cake. Um, I had this going in my daughter's room because this was a sample, I believe. So I definitely enjoyed this one and would repurchase this. We have another Rose Girls. This is Fresh Picked Strawberries, Orange Sherbet, and Vanilla Bean Noel. This one was a beautiful, um, delicious, um, fruity blend. And um, you definitely got the strawberry and the orange sherbet, very creamy, very fruity. And then you, um, a hint of that Vanilla Bean Noel. This is something that I would definitely repurchase too. And this was also something that was, um, I believe it came in my big kahuna box or one of the big, big kahuna boxes that I had. Definitely would repurchase this one. And this one was Dessa's Sugar Strawberry Streusel. Can't remember this one. If I, I believe I like this one. It was a nice but I don't think it was super strong, but I did enjoy it. Um, I would repurchase it um, again because I do like zucchini bread. And um, like I said, this was just only a, um, like a sample, but um, I would definitely want to get more to kind of, you know, give it more of a test run, so to speak, because this was just a couple of pieces in here because this was a, a sample, but um, I liked it, you know. it. I mean, I love zucchini bread, so I enjoyed it nonetheless, but I would definitely get this again. This one was Belgian Spa uh, Hayden Row. And this was Bidet's type leafy greens, florals, basil, citrus, amber, and musk. And this one was very heavy on the florals. I am not big on florals. I do have this in a souffle because this was a sample. I do have it in a souffle and I meant to um, pack this in a package that I sent out and completely forgot. Um, this one was too strong for me. It was nice, but it was just too strong for me and um, kind of aggravated my allergies a little bit. So this one I would not repurchase um, just because the florals was too heavy for me. But it, it was beautiful, it's just not for me. This one was Smell Good Shop Murder of Crows. And this one, I believe, was like a bakery blend. But I enjoyed it very much. It was about a seven out of eight out of 10, and um, or seven, eight out of 10. 
I definitely would repurchase this. This was like a, a small um, sample, but I definitely would get this in um, a fuller size. I believe this blend was like, um, I can't, I think it's a limited edition scent. So um, if this was to come around again, um, hopefully this will come back around in the fall and I would uh, definitely repurchase this. I did enjoy this one. This was another um, Nana Makes Sense Nightmare Before Christmas. And this was a really um, nice blend as well. I definitely enjoyed this one. It was, a, um, I think it was like a tree blend, I think. No, I think it's an eggnog blend. I should have wrote it down. I can't remember. One second, guys. I'm back, guys. So it was an eggnog blend. So it was eggnog, butter brickle, and um, pumpkin marshmallow. And this one was very delicious. I enjoyed it. It was about a 7 or 8 out of 10. I would definitely repurchase this one. And this one was Candles by Jackie. And this was Fall, uh, fall Festival. And this one, um, I believe it was like a leaves um, type. But... I definitely did like it. It was about an eight out of 10, something that I would repurchase, a very nice fall blend. Um, I had this going in the bathroom and every time I walked in the bathroom, it just smelled like fall. So I definitely enjoyed this one. Candles by Jackie. Um, I feel like she's very underrated, but she has a really good wax, very reasonable prices. And um, I definitely would repurchase this blend. And we had another Nightmare Before Christmas. So, like I said, I would repurchase that again. And this one was um, To the Moon and Bad Creations. And this one was Cereal Mashup. And this one I enjoyed very much. This was a sample. Um, and this was a delicious cereal blend. I would definitely repurchase this. I do have a... Um, souffle of this already in my collection but i definitely would repurchase this one this was about an eight out of ten and i enjoyed it. it was very strong the throw was well um and it was just delicious um anything cereal i enjoy and this one was very good this one was rose girls flower power so this is peony and island orchid Pier one type, fresh pineapple, banana, peach, mangoes, papayas with lush peonies, soft orchids, and white um, kints flowers or kinsey flowers. And this one um, was a sample that I got in a D stash, which I really enjoy this. Um, hopefully Jennifer will bring this, or Jenny will bring this back. Um, in the future because this one was really good it was very um fruity floral um about an eight out of ten and i definitely would repurchase this again and this was sassy wax melts and this was winter cranberry tobacco vanilla this one was a very um nice blend the uh, cranberry was a tart cranberry the tobacco was very sweet with that vanilla this one was about an eight out of ten i definitely would repurchase this one i really enjoyed that and this one is nana makes sense and this was under the big top i believe this is another um eggnog blend um one second let me double check that okay so i was wrong this one was circus concession and pretzel um i definitely enjoyed this one this one's about a seven out of ten i would repurchase this i believe this was in the shape of an owl like a big owl shape um you definitely i remember with this one i definitely got that pretzel um, which I like. Some people don't like that. Um, they feel the pretzels too too much. But I enjoyed it. Um, and it definitely reminded you of being at the fair. 
or at an amusement park. Um, so this one I would repurchase because I did enjoy that one as well. This one was Salt Mountain Crunch Breezy Pound Cake. I did enjoy this one. You definitely got the um, the berry note and the denseness of the pound cake. I would um, repurchase this one. Um, when I melted it, it was very, it was pretty strong. It was about an eight out of ten. Um, I definitely enjoyed it, and you know, if given the opportunity, I would definitely get more of this one because I did enjoy this one. And. This is L3 Waxy Wonders, and this is Green Clover Aloe Boom Boom. And this one was so good. It was very fresh, green, a little bit um, body care-esque from the Boom Boom. And this one was about a 7, 8 out of 10. I would definitely repurchase this one um because i enjoyed it and let's see we have dream Re weaver from l3 waxy wonders and this is lavender cream sugar cookie dough bread this one oh my god this one was so good um i melted this in the evening and you definitely got that lavender and then but that cookie dough um just really just sweetened it up and um just made it just like a delicious lavender bakery type blend, um, if that makes any sense. But I definitely enjoyed this. I would repurchase this one. It was about a seven or eight out of 10, but um, it was really good, perfect for the evening, um, especially in my daughter's room. Um, I like to melt the lavender blends in her room at night to help her go to sleep because she's a rambunctious eight year old and a lot of times she is not ready to go to bed when it's time to go to bed so she's still like hyper and still like have all this energy and it's like no it's time to relax and unwind so usually i put on lavender blends and it works magic <laughs> like the minute you put that on and you know you put on the rain sounds for her you turn the light out and within like 2.5 seconds she sleeps so um, I'm so thankful for these lavender blends because they work really well. I will continue to repurchase this one as well. And we have another Sassy Wax Melts. And this was Honeymooners uh, Dragon Fruit Peach Bellini Fizzy Pop. And this one was another fruity fizzy uh, blend. I definitely enjoyed it. Um... About a seven or eight um, out of ten, I would because of the fizzy pop that was in this one. I definitely would repurchase this one again. I enjoyed this one when I melted this one last month. I might get that one in the custom. Um, let's do some of these. So this one was Sharknado from Super Taurus. It's a sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, pear, ocean rain, and peppermint. I really enjoyed this one. I actually got this one. Oh, wow, this smells amazing. Um, from the round robin that we did a couple of months ago. And I love this. This one, you get that mint. Um, you get that ocean. It's just fresh, crisp. A little bit aquatic. Oh, this is so good. And this is about an 8 out of 10. I definitely would repurchase this. And I think I did... Did I repurchase this? Did I see this come back around? If not, if it comes, once it comes up, um, I definitely will repurchase this one because this one I enjoyed very much. I would say it when it um, was done. And we have another Super Tarts. This is Black Panther. This is Blackberry Scone, Berry Smoothie, Mac Apple, and Tres Leche Cake. This one was really good. Mmm, you definitely get that Mac Apple. It's really delicious. Um, and that berry smoothie, um, that blueberry, like that breadiness from like the scone. And then you get the milkiness and the creaminess from the Tres Leche cake. 
If you're not familiar with Tres Leches, that is um, Spanish um, for three milks. And it's a very delicious Spanish dessert. Very um, milky, uh, creamy. It's so good. So I definitely will repurchase and I have repurchased this scent. Um, I have this in the band bag right now. So this one was very delicious as well. About a, about a seven or eight out of 10. Then this is Better Homes and Garden. This was Lemon Pumpkin Shortbread. And this one surprised me. This one was really good. I was very surprised how this threw. Um, it was about a 7 out of 8. Um, 7 and 8 out of 10. And you, oh my gosh. That lemon and that shortbread. Like you definitely, you get that cookie. Not a crunchy cookie, but I feel like it's more of a, like a soft cookie where you just break open and it's just like, just deliciousness. But this one is like, it's this is empty and this is still super strong. It's so good. Um, so I would definitely repurchase this one. Um, and I got this from Walmart. And I didn't realize I had a lot here, but I do. I didn't think I melted that much last month, but apparently I did. This is um, Soul's Inspiration Lullaby. And this is Lavender Vanilla Baby, Baby Bee's Buttermilk. And this one, I enjoyed it as well as well can't talk sorry it was a beautiful lavender nighttime vanilla blend just soothing um comforting and this was something that i melted in my daughter's room this was about an eight out of ten i definitely would repurchase and um keep this in my stash uh to melt in the evening And this is pharmacy pharma, the pharmacist's daughter, and this is Cranberry Collins. And this one, oh my God, I love this one. This was one of the first um, blends that I purchased from the pharmacist's daughter when I placed my first order with them uh, last October. Definitely enjoy this very tart, um, sweet, um, just delicious, and about an 8 out of 10. I definitely would repurchase this one. I do have more of this in my collection. It's very good and would definitely um, repurchase. This is Rainbow Melt's Sweet Holiday Slumber and this is Lavender Vanilla's Sweet Fluffy Marshmallow. This one was another... Um, beautiful lavender blend um very creamy from the marshmallow the lavender was really nice um definitely would repurchase this i melted this again at nighttime in my daughter's room and this one was pretty good it was about an eight nine out of ten and um possibly a ten it was it was a the throw was really nice like the next morning when we woke up in the morning um, you still could smell this going strong. So I definitely would recommend this one. Um, this one is a um, really nice lavender blend. So would repurchase. This was Birdie's Making Sense. And this is I Only Have Pies For You, Pumpkin Pie, Spice, uh, Caramel Latte, and a Hint of Whipped Cream. This was in the shape of an actual pie. It came with a cute little fork and a plate. Birdie's making sense. Um, wax is one of my, um, it's in, you know, one of my top vendors. So I definitely enjoyed this one. Um, when I got this, I had ordered two of them. And this one was so delicious. It was, um, Bridges Wax is really nice. Um, her wax is a softer wax, but it the throw is amazing. Like, just delicious cinnamon bakery goodness. Um, it basically was like you had a pie baking in the oven. It was that good. And I definitely would repurchase this. And this one was about like 8, 9 out of 10. This was a sample from Empire Alchemy, and this is Black Cherry Italian Soda. This one was strong. 
This one was strong, I would say it was about um, eight, nine, even possibly a 10. Um, I had this going in the bathroom and I have a um, plug-in warmer. And sometimes, um, depending on the vendor, um, sometimes my wax doesn't throw as strong um, in that particular warmer, which drives me insane. So if a scent or if a blend is super strong on cold already, it throws really well in that warmer. But if it's a lighter on the lighter side, um, it gives me a little bit of trouble. Um, I'm thinking about, I'm so sorry guys, I keep saying um, but I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit tired, so excuse me for that. Um, there we go again. Let's count how many ums I can say in this video. <laughs> sorry. So this one was really good. I enjoyed it. It was very strong. It literally was like I opened up a soda and had it sitting at my table and was drinking it. And this was in, going on, uh, I had this one in the, um, was it my daughter's room? or the, I think it was, no, I think it was the bathroom. But um, here we go again, sorry. <laughs> this one was really good, would repurchase this in full size if this um, became available again. This, you guys know how I feel about this. This is Hayden Road Africa and this, is just this scent is just so good it gives me the most amazing wonderful beautiful scent memory this has a uh, smoke in it and um it basically it's it's earthy it's warm it reminds me of when i was a little kid and when my mom used to do my hair and of a particular hair grease which is the sulfur eight hair grease but it's such a good memory. Um, it just takes me back to just sitting on the floor in the living room, the TV's on. I'm sitting in between my mom's legs and she's like, you know, detangling my hair. She's parting my hair, greasing my scalp, braiding it up in some cute little braid style with little barrettes or beads or whatnot. And it just gave me um, a really nice, memory this one is really good i already have more in my collection i definitely will continue to repurchase this it was just beautiful it's very strong so i would say about eight nine even even a ten i feel like in my bathroom warmer it's about an eight eight or a nine out of ten but in one of my other warmers that's a hot plate warmer it's about a ten so it de depends on the warmer the throw can vary and um you know the room size or what have you but this one is really good it's a great performer and i definitely will continue to repurchase this this was sugar coated from broadway wax and i believe this one was a bakery uh blend I did enjoy it it was about an 8 out of 10 and I believe I had this in our my daughter's room I did like it I definitely would repurchase it again and I actually have some more of this in my collection. This was a sample. But I do like this. This was a uh, Rose Girl Strawberry Jam. This is delicious. It is so strong. The strawberry on this is really strong. This is about an eight or nine out of 10. Definitely would repurchase this to use alone or to mix in with other blends. Um, very great would be purchased. And the last thing we have here is Teddy B's Take Your Boom Boom to Bed. This was another wonderful lavender blend, um, nighttime blend that I melted and enjoyed it very much. I think I have this coming to me or in my collection already, but I did enjoy it. I would continue to repurchase it. Very soothing, very calming, um, just overall beautiful blend. 
perfect for nighttime and once again these blends normally get melted in my daughter's room to help her with going to sleep and it works like a charm every time so definitely would keep this in my collection as well and that's it so that was everything guys and i hope you enjoyed this one sorry for all the ums this was my first what i melted video next time i'll be a little bit more prepared uh so i don't sound all over the place but i will be doing more of these they will be like i said i'll be a little bit more prepared with um my uh, delivery of these so if you made it to the end thank you so much i appreciate you all and uh please be sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell notification so that you know when i upload the next one and i will catch you guys in the next one take care bye